not too scared. Today, I'd like to do something that we've never done before. What, for example? After crossing the shady forest, we can follow the path all the way up to the valley. Oh, it's going to be a long walk. But if we leave now, we should be back just before it gets dark. You'll have to be very careful. There are many things that you still don't know beyond the shady forest, little pet pals. Nameless is happy to leave for this new adventure, but I'm not sure. Hooray! <laughs> Let's go! What's the matter, Pio? Aren't you coming with us? I'm a little afraid of crossing the shady forest to the valley. We have no idea of what we could find. No, I don't want to go. We'll just have to be cautious, Pio. We must have some courage if we want to live some wonderful adventures. It's true, but I don't know if I have enough courage to go all the way to the valley. Hmm. Maybe Methuselah can give us some advice. I believe that Pio needs to speak with Otto the spider. He will tell him what he needs to know. Hmm? You're right, Nameless. Otto lives in the forest close by. Should we go? Okay, Top Hat. I'm quite curious to know what Otto the Spider has to say. Hmm. Do you think Otto will be able to give Pio some courage? I don't know, but that's something we can find out. <laughs> How are we gonna find Otto? He's so tiny, and the forest is so big. I don't think we're gonna find him with that magnifying glass, Nameless. Otto! Otto, where are you? Mm -hmm. No, nobody's answering. I wonder where he's hiding. Ugh, I'm getting bored. I want to go back to the park. Just be a little more patient, Diva. I'm sure that we'll find him very soon. Who are you looking for? <laughs> Hello! Mm. Hi! You must be Merlino the Stoat. We're sorry if we bothered you, but we're, um, looking for Otto? He's the only one who can give Pio some mm. courage. Sorry, I don't think I can help you. Why not? You know this forest so well. Yes, but Otto is really very small and he hides. Sometimes he climbs up on trees and nobody can see him. Mm. That means we'll have to go back. Wait, hold on. Look up there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that's Otto! Is he flying? No, he's using the seeds of a dandelion to move around. Otto, can you come down? We need to talk to you. Oh, oh, wait for me. I'm going to land. Come on, let's follow him. Be careful! Why? What's the problem? The tree! What tree? The one in front of you! Uh. Oh, 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 help! Watch out! There's a big rock over there! Good job! I can't believe it! You were brilliant! It wasn't difficult! I always do that! Why are you looking for me? Pio has a question for you, am I right? Yes, it's true. I'm listening. Ask anything you want. Hmm. Well, when there's something I don't know, I'm always afraid. Today, for example, we had to go beyond the shady forest, but we didn't because of me, and I was too scared to go. Oh, I used to be afraid of traveling to unknown places too, but then everything changed thanks to my dandelion. What do you mean? Well, once, out of mere curiosity, I grabbed onto some dandelion seeds and I let them carry me around with the wind. And it was wonderful! But weren't you a little afraid? Maybe I was, but we can't let fear prevent us from living our adventures, don't you think? I think you're right. Tomorrow I'll go beyond the shady forest with my friends without any fear. And maybe I will be a little scared, but I'll go with them anyways. What do you say, Nameless? <laughs> Pio has conquered his fear of new things, and he will continue to discover the world. Goodbye, my little friends. Come back soon and be happy. Yeah!
Iscriviti al canale, guarda altri video.